So hi peeps, this is a very quick tutorial on how to document a peak flow. Okay, so you will see peak flow documentation. Every testing center might be different, okay? So <clears throat> there could be first, second, third, fourth, and fifth reading. You already know why uh, there's five boxes of <clears throat> the reading. So... I am just going to tutor or show you how to document it. All right, guys. So anyway, instructions. So you you always have to read what is the instruction of your assessors about your patient. Okay. Make sure that you know the gender of your patient because it will matter in the uh, big flow chart uh, later on. All right. So remember, this is Roberta Payne. Patient is 55 and the patient is 158 centimeters. All right, so let's start. Okay, guys, so if the assessor tells you your first reading is um, 430 liters per minute. So you have to write 430 liters per minute. Okay, <clears throat> second reading. Assessor tells you, for example, for 80 liters per minute. And then the third and final reading, Assessor will tell you, for example, 450 liters per minute. <clears throat> Remember, guys, we're only going to do a fourth and fifth reading if... The difference of the two highest reading is more than 40 liters per minute. We only have, the, so the two highest reading is 480 and 450. So the difference is only 30 liters per minute. So our final reading is 480 liters per minute. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure to say or to ask Miss Assessor, Miss Assessor, what time is this assessment, please? Make sure your handwriting is legible. So Assessor tells you it's 1400 hours. Make sure, guys, you sign. <clears throat> and then you put the date of your exam. And then the 1400 hours. Okay. So, first reading, 430. Second reading, 480. Third reading, 450. The highest of the three is 480 liters per minute. That's 480 liters per minute. Okay, and I have put the time and signed it. Right. Now, let's show you how to do the... So, this patient, we said, is a woman. Correct? Patient is a woman. Roberta Payne. 55 years old and 158 centimeters. Remember, our highest is 480. So, first of all, you look for the age. Okay? That's what you need to do. Always look for the age. So, age is at the bottom. Okay? Age. Here. So 55, and remember this is a woman's rainbow, women's rainbow, men's rainbow. Now I don't need to look at the top, I only need to look at the below rainbow. So my patient's age is 55, and the highest reading is 480. So 480 is there, and it's 50, my patient is 55. So I already know that the patient has got a high result, okay? So if anything, <clears throat> you don't need to look for the height because the, 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 report, the reading is higher than the rainbow. All you need to say is, Miss Assessor, my patient's result is higher than the normal average. And then you address to the patient. Mrs. Payne, your result is higher than the normal average. 
I will refer this back to the clinician for a more individualized care plan. Okay? Now, if your patient, for example, guys, I'll give you another example. If your patient has a final reading, if uh, this is a different example. So if your patient has a 410 liters per minute uh, highest result and she's 55. So let's look for 55. Always look for the age first and then the highest reading. Okay. So 55 and 410. Here is the 410. Now you need to look whether that is because my patient's height is 158 centimeters. So let's see on the orange bit. Okay. So just a little bit above. So just a tiny bit above the normal average. I hope that's helpful. Send me comments if you need more. Here we go. 158 centimeters, 55 years old. Okay. I hope you like it. I hope this helps. For more information, guys, I do a, a private lesson for OSCE. So find me on fa Facebook. I have a team of educators. Uh, the name on the Facebook page is OSCE Made Easy. All right. Best wishes to all. Anyone wants to avail, let me know. Find me on Facebook, OSCE Made Easy. Bye-bye for now.